My name is Teddy Carr Jr. I got into this business when I was 19 years old to help my father who was running around in the financial district while I was in college at Fordham University. My name is Andrew D'Ambrosio. I've been in business since 1991. I started here as a helper in 1986 in my first year at New York Tech. Hi, my name is George Lopez. I'm a distributor for GJL Beverage. I started out 25 years ago as a helper on a truck. Well, my name is Joe Shankin. I'm president of the Shankin Beverage Distributors. I got into the business originally through my father. There, so I'm a second generation. My name is Terrence Carr. I'm the president of Rebecca Beverages. I've been in the beverage industry since I'm 16 years old. I'm 60. That's 44 years. My father basically started in 1938. I came in in 1966. I was 21 years old. It was a family business. It was a good business for a long time. It still is a good business. But what has happened now is they reinstituted the deposit law. Uh, you know, with all this health stuff going on, sugar's no good for you. Uh, they want to institute a sugar tax. Uh, the company, parent company Pepsi Cola, is cooperating a lot with the governments with making a different, a bigger choice. I really like the job. And you know, at the time, you can make money down here. Between the company and their policies and everything else, it, it, it's, the, the business has changed, you know. You got society going after us, you got the government going after us. I mean, the whole reason that anybody's fat today is because they drink, they have a soda once in a while. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, was, we were the big guys on the street. We made a lot of money, it was fun, it was an enjoyable job. Right now, it's a struggle. We're competing basically with ourselves. If I fast forward to today's business, big change. A lot of water, tea, vitamin drinks, coffee, energy, very little soda, and sugary drinks, and whichever, there's a war on it. It started with Bloomberg and Michelle Obama. If you drink a can a day or a couple of cans a week, you're fine. If you're going to drink three two liters a day, it's going to be bad for you, but it's like anything. If you smoke three packs of cigarettes a day, it's bad for you. I thought business would be great. It's okay, but it could be a lot better. The reason it's not as good as it should be, in my opinion, is because Pepsi Cola keeps raising prices. There's stores out there that can actually get Pepsi cheaper than we can give it to them, and we're supposed to be Pepsi Cola bottling company. Then we were the Pepsi man, and we delivered to our area, all of our stores. There were no beer distributors coming into the area. When you walked in, you had a relationship with every store. You were the only one that delivered to every store. Today, we're going the wrong way. We're not the only one on the street. If we were the only one on the street, we're fighting ourselves, them, everybody on the street, that's the problem. We're fighting everybody, everybody. All the mom and pops stores right up and down the street are all gone. And those stores used to feed families and used to feed other families. And those families lived in those communities. Those, all those jobs now are in Costco, they're in Sam's Club, they're in Walmart. And those stores, they don't pay anybody. The people that work in those stores don't live in those communities. They have to bust them in to work there. You know, it's definitely a different business than what I got into. It used to be about selling, going out there and selling soda. And it's just changed. We used to be uh, an exclusive brand. By that I mean, if you had, if you bought Pepsi in the areas that we own, they bought it from you. Now what's changed is over the years, I guess these, these soft drink business has become so profitable for people that everybody went into the business. And now we have a lot of people that are underselling us by bringing in product from other states that don't have deposits, so it's, they could sell it cheaper. Other people are selling our products when we're the ones that paid for the rights to do that. You know, the things that need to change around here, you know, it's just better, different pricing, just, you know, more help from the company, because as distributors right now, we're really all just by ourselves. You know, that's how we feel. Okay, when I was a, when I was a driver, I was selling a lot of soda. Trust me, 160, 170,000. I bought 140,000, and I don't think I'm gonna pass 140,000. I believe that the beverage industry as a whole has to consolidate. If not, 
I don't think uh, a lot of people will be around too many years longer. Instead of going up, we're going down. I invested so much money for nothing. All my money is invested in here. I have nowhere to go. Posted a lot of stress because my daughter's going to college and it's just a lot of stress. There's just no money to be, no matter how hard work used to be, you make money. Hard work now is just to stay even. I fell in love with Pepsi, the brand. Pepsi, you know, the name, you know, the color, the logo, just everything about it was just, it was like, wow, this is something I want to be a part of. The company itself, it's a little disheartening dealing with them. We buy from Pepsi, but we're not Pepsi. Though in our hearts, we are the core of Pepsi. We are, if it ain't us, there is no Pepsi the way people know it. At 50 cents a case, you do 6,000 cases a week. That's a At 50 yeah, cents yeah. a case, that's $3,000 a week. Mm, clean money. Bad. Clean. Nothing on time. Now you don't see that. Everybody everybody was happy. Mm. Everybody. Was the distributor was happy. The driver was happy. Now, if you, if, you sell, if you sell 2,000 cases a week, you're doing okay. You know? That's embarrassing. Right and that's, you know, it's, it's bad. It's bad.